all right guys so for my brows i'm just taking my um this is a new brow pencil Ugh, it's horrible i don't even know what it is <laughs> it's horrible but it's a dark dark brow pencil <laughs> it's horrible i don't know where the pencil is i recorded it so long ago not very long ago i don't know what the name of this pencil is but it's a dark let me see if i can i don't know it's a dark pencil I bought it out here in Jamaica, but it was a time. I bought it from a store that was closing down. So I bought like 20 of them, just these small ones, um, for class. And then I have some left over. So I'm just filling in my brows with this no-name pencil. And that's the length of it. It's really that short. <sighs> Only lyric. So next, I'm going to be cleaning up with my Level 11 Ruby Kisses um, Concealer. The You know the Ruby Kisses Concealer that has two sides? Level 11, that's what I'm using. And I tend to use the lighter side to, um, to go under my brows and the darker side to go on top of my brows. Then I'm just going to clean up using my fluffy angled brush from our um, Poem in Paradise. Oh gosh. Excuse me. For my Pull Me in Paradise set. Pull Me in Paradise. Yeah, the fluffy angle brush. I use it to just clean up there. So right here, I'm going to be applying my Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. Let me tell you something. If you have oily skin, boo boo, this is your baby. This is your baby. But I realize it doesn't work well with my L'Oreal um, True Match. And by the way, I'm not a fan of the L'Oreal True Match at all. Um, yeah, but with my Black Opal Foundation and with my Iman Foundation, it works wonders. This primer, love it, love it, love it. But it doesn't work well with the, um, the matte foundation, the L'Oreal matte foundation. So now I'm applying my um, clay four, I believe, by Iman, and I see how it matches the rest of my body. My neck is darker than the rest of my body, so I tend to match my body instead of my neck. <coughs> Excuse me, but you see how it matches me. But I can't. I have. I go through this Iman thing so fast, and it's so expensive. I have to kind of balance it up with my black opal. My black opal foundation stick lasts me way longer than this Iman. But where I go do because I don't know because meetings that would have last because you know I look on the paper the black opal is like thousand odd and then the iman is like almost three thousand dollar so mm -mm, never work for me so I'm just yes babe no I'm recording for YouTube oh. it's like editing so sorry about that <laughs> yes so that's my black opal carob that's all over my face. And I'm just going to blend those two together. This is what happens when I think of voice. Well, life happens. And no, no, I'm not going to edit that out. So, what you hear is what you get, boo boo. Mm. Okay, so now I'm taking my black opal foundation in rich caramel from the day Mrs. Cindy Black used this to blood cleanse. I never stop. <laughs> love it, love it, love it for highlight, darling. Love it, darling. Wait, did it stop? Oh. Nope. Okay, there we go. And I'm just highlighting the regular areas, the usual suspects. And of course, I'm going to be blending out with my Beauty Blender. My black Beauty Blender. I personally love this Beauty Blender. And then the um, Real Techniques second. The Real Techniques is just too delicate for me. And I don't even have it. If you notice, what I've been using is my black Beauty Blender in most of my tutorials. Rather than the other ones. I got some elf ones I'm going to try out and... Probably, let me know if you want to see a review on the elf ones because they're more cost effective you know it's cheaper than the beauty blender but let me know i suggest that i recommend the beauty blender though for us pro makeup artists you need a beauty blender bubble okay so now i'm going to be going in with my ben nye banana powder darling and i'm going to be setting where i highlighted with rich caramel from black opal from black opal <laughs> from black pole from black black opal and I noticed something with me. I use a clutch of powders and it makes my face look cakey. So, um, I, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using a lot of powders. <laughs> but now I'm going to be going in with, um, I think it's called, what am I doing? Oh, oh I was looking at Jonathan. My motives very deep um, powder and I'm going to be going over all over my face with that. Because 
what I'm going to be using, I kind of have to use the powder to blend. So I blend, I blend my foundation and I blend my powders. So I put that on first because it's really, really dark. So I put it on with like a fluffy brush. And this brush is from our Dipped in Elegance set. So I use that with a fluffy brush. And after using it with a fluffy brush, then I'm going to go in with a flat top brush. And I'm using my Iman Earth 2 over that. See, Iman, and it's in Earth 2, and I'm using it over it. So that's what I'm doing now. And I realized that just in this clip, I recognize that the Iman Earth 2 makes my face look a little bit red. I don't know if you guys are seeing that. Yeah, you're seeing it. You're seeing it. You're definitely, because I'm seeing it. So you must be seeing it. You must be seeing it because I'm seeing it. Oh, look at those tracks. So classy, this one. Classy lyric. Going back in with my motives and I'm going to use it to low light. There you go. You're in focus, bro. Are you guys hearing Jeremy in the background with Jonathan? <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> no, you're here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are here. So I'm just in low lighting, my normal, you know, low, low lighting position. If you want to say like a tutorial devoted to foundation, contouring, if you want to see that, just let me know. And the person that gets that the most thumbs up or whatever, I do it because I don't have to do it unless you guys want it. <coughs> yeah, so I'm going on my brow bone and I'm putting um, that shades by Gal and it's called it's a deep hydrating baked foundation and it is in um deep deep slash i think deep or deep dark some deep something and i'm just sitting out above my brows and my brow bone and my nose and then i'm going in with my um black no my mac mineralized skin finish extra dimension sorry skin finish and i've had this for years you guys years 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 i really really love this i wish i wish i had more of the mac highlighters look at that i mean it's heavy a lot heavy but i just like how it looks and i've been using doing this nose highlighter to put a nose on the, and on the chin and i'm not i did, it didn't you didn't i didn't like it at first but no it's kind of growing on me <laughs> like a rash okay so yes yeah, so and i'm going to put that as well the light part that you just saw right in my happy area and i'm i leaned forward so i'm a little bit out of focus i completely apologize for that okay i'm going in with truffle using my mac 217 brush truffle Hot fudge. So the same brown that I used to do my brows is the same brown I'm going to apply on my lid. I thought I had a black pencil, but I didn't. So I used the brown to apply on my lid. And I applied the brown because I want the color on my lid to be a little bit darker. Then I'm going in with licorice. So for the liquid line, I'm actually wearing an LA Girl liquid oh. liner and I, this thing applies so smoothly and it dries matte. Props to LA, is it LA Girl or LA Color? BRB. It's actually Jordana. It's called Color Envy and it's, no, it's called Black Envy. So it's Jordana Color Envy. Woo! Bubba, I was at Fontana Pharmacy last year when I saw one of the workers wearing it. I was like, what are you wearing? Love it, man. So now I'm just going to blend um, using the blush that I'll be wearing. I'm putting that in the crease. And the blush that I'm actually wearing is by Black Opal. And it's called Nectar and it has some iridescence. It's kind of glowy. No, the thing with this brush, blush, is that it can't, I can't get a little heavy handed. I don't do it intentionally. It's just not showing up when I'm putting it on. Then when I take pictures, it's like, bam, in your face. So, um, if you're doing this for a shoot or for a bride, just think light and use a fan brush. It will deposit it better for you. Yeah. Lipstick is um, Elegant Matte Flat Velvet Lipstick in Sweet Revenge. 
lip liner is by LA Colors and it's in Smooth Plum, I believe. Smooth Plum. And the lip gloss is my puff piece.